Hello, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Let's talk with you. Welcome. Imika, so good to see you again. What can I do for you? Um, tell me about the Veiland Republics. They are rich in all ways. In wealth, in style, in culture. If you were to go to the Republics, you would not want to leave. Why would you? The people are beautiful and charming. I am here because the song Greta Ducala wishes it. But when my appointment is done, I will be on my first ship out and I will sing from here to Salona. If there's nothing else, I must return to my duties. Uh, what do you do here? As the Valian ambassador, my job is to ensure trade with the Deerwood remains strong and profitable. Okay, hey, farewell then, I won't keep you any longer. Alright then. These postings show current prices for a range of commodities and they track the running exchange rate for the Valen Lusk. Spread across the table are the blueprints of an in progress trade deal between a merchant company from the Republics and a Derudian were wool collective. The flag depicts the symbol of the Valian Republics, a ship sailing beneath five radiant stars. I can see the ship, that's for sure. What do we have here? Sing, O ocean waves, of Ondra's sorrow, of her unrequired love for the unattainable moon. Sing of the ocean sorrow so that we may forget our own. Each day the tides reenact Ondra's longing for the great moon. The waters reach out as at high tide, yearning for the heavenly body, only to slump low into low tide when the moon proves unattainable. You ask me once why I loved Ondra so dearly. How I could go from a life on dry land to being a devotee to the goddesses of the o goddess of the oceans. I sing of the ocean sorrow so that I may forget my own. It is Andra's message that speaks to my heart. I have devoted my life to helping others discard painful memories, for that is the gift Andra gave me. When I lost my young daughter, my wife and I were inconsolable until a gift bearer offered to take my toddler's stories and cast them into the deepest waters. Truth be told, I and the other gift bearers I know have never even spoken to Ondra. She is largely silent and when she does speak, she uses floods and tidal waves instead of words. But we sing of the ocean sorrow so that others may forget theirs. Ondra's story, the story of desire unanswered actually matters to people like you and me. Margaret cannot steer you to victory over sadness. Hiela cannot force joy down a crying throat. Only Ondra can give us the strength to persevere when life seems without worth. And that is the answer to your question regarding why I love my goddess so dearly. Of course. No, I don't want to steal. Really, honestly. I honestly do not want to steal anything from them. You know, why would I? They're nice people. Uh, is there anything else? There's... Bracken Brewery. Oh, there's still the crossable keep let's visit that i know we've been walking from one place to another without any rhyme or reason but this is just what we do right now once i find the place that i want to visit there's still that i still do remember um, that we must find that one person uh, during night at the gift I have no idea who, which part of the gift, if they will be there all night, I don't care. Greetings! Aldmar gives you an appraising eye. Judging by the scars on his face, he's lucky to be able to do that much. 
Every day we get more from the hinder hinterlands pouring into Defiance Bay. Keeps us busy on the water, it does. You look like you recently are yourself. Who are you? A soldier of the Crucible Knights, and proud of it. I help keep everything running at the keep so that Commander Cleaver can focus on more important matters. Looking for something or just knocking the dirt off your boots? What goes on in Crucible Keep? This is the headquarters of the Crucible Knight, so it's where we store arms and armor, as well as where many of our soldiers bank. Commander Cleaver is in the back, making plans, as usual. He scratches a scar cheek. You'll find the forge at the west end of the building, along from Master Smith Dunstan. There's also a shrine to the golem, if you're praying, type. Tell me about the Crucible Knights. We're the defenders of the Fines Bay. We're not exactly a formal knighthood, but don't tell the Dante Commander's Cleaver I said that. He grins. We were the first organized militia to oppose Adirian rule, and today, we are the largest force in the city. Our soldiers undergo years of combat training, and our officers are required to have their souls read by that critter out in Dunwit Row. What's this about Dunwit Row? Just a requirement for the Crucible Knights. So the higher-ups know there's nothing messy built in your soul's past. Altmar widens his stance. Keeping the ranks pure is fine by me. I just wish they were more careful in hiring their ciphers. What's wrong with their ciphers? He shifts his weight and glances at the empty holes. They're almost... They're mostly Orleans. I'm sure they're talented enough, but you just can't trust them. Hostility is in their nature, and they've learned to hide it over the years. He frowns and crosses his arms. All I'm saying is they should at least be supervised by other folk. That's reasonable enough, isn't it? Well, if people treated them better, you wouldn't have to worry about them being so hostile. All the more sharps. I'm just speaking the truth. Nowadays, it seems that's the biggest crime of all. Okay, that's, that's all. Thank you. Yes. There's this constant chit, chit chat in the background, and I was so confused because I didn't know if it was indeed in the game or somewhere outside. The Justice. The Justitia's gaze flicks over to you briefly before returning to the novitiates uh, uh, gathered in the training area. If this is about patrols, my novities are already stretched to their limits. Between refugee influx and the mess at Heritage Hill, I simply don't have any units to spare. After a pause, she looks over at you again. I'm sorry, was there something else you need? If, is something wrong at Heritage Hill? She lowers her voice. What isn't wrong in is the real question. A whole district of walking flesh eating corpses. Uh, we sealed the area two months ago, just after I lost one of my finest commanders there. And yet, yeah, this is the second guard rotation to disappear. There are already enough rumors about the place floating around the keep without my soldiers whispering about these disappearances. She shakes her head. I would just as soon abandon the district, but if no, if those monsters should find a way out... I could look into it. She steps back and regards you. After what I've just told you, you want to go to Heritage Hill? I was trained soldiers there. Why should I let anyone in? I mean, you've got nothing to lose. If you're so eager to rush to your death, I won't stop you. She quietly looks on at the novitiates. And if you're somehow able to put a stop to this. You've got my permission to enter Heritage Hill. I'll send word to the cars at the gate. Okay. Please tell me more about the Heritage Hill. It used to be one of the most prestigious districts in Defiance Bay. But a few months ago, the residents all went mad. Started eating each other and everything else. 
that had the bad luck to wander into the district. I've never seen anything like it. Now, every novitiate that sends guard there, everyone that comes back, anyway, talks of the stench of the grave and the groans of unspeakable horrors. She holds a palm plate clad finger. The why and the how are questions for the animancers. I've sealed the district in hopes of containing whatever happened there. It seems to be working. For now. Mm, what do you do here? I am in charge of the Capes Novitiates. I am responsible for the training and patrol assignments. She knows at the group gathered in the training room. They are good soldiers and they have been quick to adapt to new challenges. Ooh, thank you. And that one... Animancer wants his grimoire bag. That I remember. This is here. This is a symbol of Abaddon, a colossal sniping armor imposed over circular gear. It's smooth and bright with buffing oils. Hmm? Okay, oh, I thought that he wanted that, that's why it showed me this particular right here. Daily affirmation of focus on efficiency. All errors can be referred into lessons. Abaddon rebuilt himself from ruin. No setback is insurmountable, not even death itself. So long as the soul is dedicated to the task. Work hard, work well. Abaddon demands only honest labor and fort fortright service. All errors can be referred if your first intentions are pure. All ignorance can be reforged into knowledge. Master your craft, excel at what you have been trusted to do. Do not offend your teacher by remaining a student, a student forever. All generation must forge its successors. To teach your trade to all who are willing to learn, and in doing so, multiply the fruits of your knowledge. All difficulties can be reforged into triumphs. Meet strife of humility and acceptance. Let adversity temper the ingot of your will, and you will never shatter. Embrace frustration. Fulfill the duties of your rank and meddle not in the affairs of your betters. All guilds fail at their weakest link. All laws can be reforged into strength. Profitable work heals all emptiness. So long as you have the tools of your trade, you will always be able to forge wealth anew. Value the works of others, and they will value your works in return. Share the harvest with the hungry, and your tools full with the destitute. All souls can be reforged into whatever we will. Hard work is not exclusive to life. Death is no time for complacency. Commit yourself to excellence in this cycle and the next. I'm so glad that they are sharing their books with us. Yeah. This painting shows a row of warriors standing atop the walls of the Fiance Bay, while either ships sail away. How the hell am I supposed to find that armor in here? Oh, maybe here. Okay, on the other hand, it might not be that hard for the task. The blaze are rather sh raised or sharp. Greetings. Give me a moment. I need to check something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I was just worried that uh, suddenly no one has their voice lines. I, mean, I didn't know if it. How was do you do? A back or not? Uh, what brings you back to the keep? Uh, what does the name Osric sound familiar? <laughs> if you've got any self-respect, you won't associate with him. Or with any of his new friends at the expedition hall, for that matter. Scams and delinquents, the lot of them. What's the story between you two? Osric has always held some controversial opinions, but they went overlooked for the longest time because his family has such an extensive history of service in the Crucible Knights. He frowns and crosses his arms. He finally went too far. 
he had the goal to suggest that we had stray too far from our roots, that some of our officers were beginning to resemble aid or nobility. <laughs> he rubbed a spot on his face and was still camp your tree. He would have us all wear rags fun and fight with four tremors. I merely reported his statements. That history made a nice what they are now. You can't just cast it aside. We've outgrown the past. He waves a shining gauntlet. Sometimes you need to move on. He says your affidavit is a forgery. Just what would he know about that? It's perfectly convenient for him to cast aspersions. What with his pedigree in the nights? He folds his arms. He blinks at you. It is, it's a lie, of course. Is that his breastplate you're wearing? It was. He looks down and admires it. It became property of the Crucible Knights when he was discharged. Now, it's mine. And it's not for sale if that's what you're wondering. Not every day you find armor that was used in the Rebellion. Okay. Tell me about the Knights of the Crucible. We're the primary defenders of Defiance Bay. The Order's founders were the first to ally for their wooden independence. He raised his hand. Of course, that's incident ancient history now. Now we're the most prestigious company of soldiers in the Deerwood. It's a glorious line of work. He scrunches up his nose. If you can forget about the barracks, that is. How does someone become a knight? We don't take just anyone. Our members are solely guests with the very men and women who defended this land a century and a half ago. He shifts his weight and cuts. Anyhow, Commander Cleaver is responsible for initiations, but he rarely accepts foreigners. Hmm. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. That's a good question. I can just steal from him. If this is about the breastplates, I already told Cleaver they won't be repaired till next week. Um, I found several fragments of an ancient sword. Do you think you can repair it? Does Dunson gives a little whistle. That's a fine blade, indeed. He holds one fragment in his rough hands. Looks Adirian. Special made. Must have been a commission for a champion of some sort. He hands the shard back to you. A sword of this caliber would have had a specially designed hilt too. It would be a shame to graft anything else onto it. And besides, it will balance best with all of the original pieces. You find the rest of it, and I'll forge it for you. Something else in your mind? What do you do here? I'm a forge master. I'm a master smith for the Crucible Knights. But the way I see it, I'm also keeping up with our old traditions. The first members of our order were smiths. Nowadays, most everyone's a professional soldier. I suppose it's to be expected, but I think it's important we keep up with our roots, too. Tell me about the knights. We were all smiths back in Hodrit's day, though I'm about the only one here who still gets his hands dirty. We're a fearsome fighting force, though these days I think Cleaver takes more pride in our parade formations. He thinks himself a progressive man, but he's obsessed with soul lineages and connections to the was heroes of old. He picks up his hammer again. Other than Dunerit Row, who really knows about any of that though? Hey, thank you. Uh, we haven't seen this room yet, I think. No. I need to make sure to get that. How to get that breastplate back if we are gonna do that? There's this room still left for us to check. Yep, yep. I 
I'm not sure how I feel about this. Okay, fine. If you cram takes the bottom of the tub, the towel hanging from the side gives an awful stench. It's all because we are good. We do we even have We have pattern reputation. But do we have any of our reputation? I don't think so. You know, some kind of alignment. Ah, we just don't have the manpower. Uh, refugees from every corner of the Deerwood. The dozens getting them all riled up about animancy. At this rate, we'll need twice the soldiers to patrol Defiance Bay. Yes? Can I help you with something? Uh, you don't have enough soldiers? Ah, uh, Fleet Breaker Castle. The High Justice has summoned almost half of my novitiates and more of my justiciars to a keep on the other side of New Haomar. It's not for me to question the High Justice's orders, but it's left us short-handed. And mark me, we're just a couple sparks away from anarchy. Is there any way I can help? I know how to handle myself. He gives you a thin smile. <laughs> Always refreshing to meet someone who would rather fix a problem than complain about it. Forge Master Dawson is working with an animal scholar to build what we're calling Forge Knights. Warriors that can patrol our streets without suffering fatigue, disobedience or fear. Some uh, agitator throws a rock at them. We don't have to worry about things getting out of hand. He's constructed the armor, but we need the scholar's research. Unfortunately, she hasn't been around the last few times. My novities have checked. Vienna lives with the rest of the scriveners out in Copper Lane, but I haven't the soldiers to spare at the moment. Go to the scriveners' dormitory and see if you can find her. When you get the research, just bring it to Dunstan. This is his area of expertise anyway. Once you've brought him the research, he can sell you any arms or armor if you have need. He forges and repairs all of our equipment. You won't find a more capable smith in Defiance Bay. Was there anything else I can do for you? So you're in charge of the Crucible Knights? <sighs> Here in Defiance Bay, anyhow? The High Justice is the leader of our order, but he is currently stationed at Fleetbreaker Castle. My job is to oversee our forces in Defiance Bay and to keep order for the Duke. Tell me about the Knights of the Crucible. He crosses his hands behind his back. We're the only professional army in Defiance Bay. Or in the Deerwood, for that matter. We defended the city in Hatred's day. We've improved our training since then. But Dunrat Row can certify that many of our officers come from good Deerwood and fighting stock. Now we are responsible for patrolling the city and keeping the peace. With so many refugees pouring in from the countryside, that's become more important than ever. Unfortunately, that's earned us enemies, particularly among the dozens and some of the more enterprising families in Defiance Bay. What do the dozens have against you? <laughs> They're demagogues and troublemakers. They forget that Defiance Bay is one of the largest cities in the world and not some frontier outpost. Most of them are mercenaries on a good day and street fogs the rest of the time. Needless to say, they have no patience for law and order. Tell me about these enterprising families, please. House Domenel, namely. They're one of the city's oldest noble families and its largest criminal organization. Their patriarch, Gedmar, has been trying to take advantage of the turmoil and expand his ex operations. We've kept on top of him and he hasn't been too happy about that. I see. Okay, thank you for telling me all of that. We have yet more things to do and we haven't finished anything else. Ooh. 
This edict calls for the arrest of Eorn, whose recent actions have led to the death of a knight of the Crucible. It requests reporting any information to Justicia Aldmar. It is sent Commander Cleaver. Okay. In recent years, the Knights of the Crucible has evolved as a group. No longer concentrating solely on blacksmithing or combat training, they've adjusted their focus to help initiates develop their souls as well as their bodies. From initiation, there is a well-defined path to the top of the order. Squire. When a candidate shows sufficient prowess in blacksmithing, or recently at least a drive in potential, he is accepted into the order as a squire. Once he is part of the order, training begins immediately. Lessons are divided into two main sections. Body, commanded by Lord Marshal and so, and so overseen by the Grand Crucio. At this point in their progression, the only uniform the squire is allowed is a simple club uniform displaying the nice colors. Novitiate. After sufficient training, each squire is given a free part test. He must prepare a broken piece of armor, he must recite the canticles of Abaddon from memory, and he must be able to land a blow on a novitiate in combat. If he succeeds at all three of these tasks, he is promoted to the position of novitiate. At this point, he is given his first official piece of crucible armor, a brigandine. His training now doubles, as only the most valiant of candidates make it through to the next level. Justicer and Ten Fools. When a novitiate shows he is ready, decided by his teachers and trainers, he must say, make a decision. His training and advancement from the po this point on will focus on one of the two disciplines, body or soul. Novitiates that chose body continued military training as a justiciar under the Lord Marshal. Novitiates that choose soul are given clerical training as a Templus under the Grand Crucial. Justiciar or Templus, the newly appointed, is taken through the ritual of the arm. He is given his plate armor and symbol of Abaddon. He is then taken to the Smith's Forge, named after Abaddon and is tasked with forging a small nail out of iron. He affixes this nail to his armor under Abaddon's symbol and will wear it there for the rest of his life as a knight of the crucible. At this point, the knight's training is fixed. If he throws body, that is the path he is on until the end of his days. If he throws soul, there is no deviating from the course. That is why the choice is only presented after he has been through many months Train. Nope, I don't want to steal that. I do wonder why this wasn't considered seen, but this is. Well. Anyway, I will end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.